Hey guys, Melted Honey here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions. So I'm going to do my entire makeup routine with products that I haven't tried yet. Either stuff that's been recommended to me or just things I saw in the store and wanted to pick out. I went to Sephora, Ulta, and Walmart to get all different stuff. I went from drugstore to more high-end products. So a little bit of everything. I'm just going to see how it all works and I'm super excited. So let's do this. So the first product I'm trying is a face oil that I'm going to put on uh, in place of a primer. So this one is actually $48. I found it on eBay. Luckily, my sweet, beautiful friend Hillary gave it to me for free because she didn't want it. So I'm going to put two drops on my, or a couple drops on my face and just rub them in. I feel like obviously if you have oily skin, you probably shouldn't use an oil. Holy mackerel, that is a lot of oil on my face. Okay. So this is really good if you have dry skin. I think it gives your skin a really nice glow. The only thing that I worry about, because I've never used this before putting makeup on, I worry that my makeup will just slide off my face. Um, I don't know. I've heard good things about this stuff and it's obviously got a really expensive price point so hopefully it's the real deal but i don't know for foundation i am trying the beauty blender foundation in a sample size uh, my best friend casta used to give me so much crap because i would just buy a new foundation without sampling it and then i would get home and try it one time and absolutely hate it and so she taught me to just you know get a sample you don't have to buy the whole thing especially because I think this is $40 from Sephora so yeah it'd be a waste I mean obviously you can return it but why not sample it and I usually get more than one sample if I'm getting a foundation so for my beauty blender I got this Japanese sponge from Ulta it was six dollars um, another youtuber named Thomas Halbert who is seriously hilarious one of my favorite beauty youtubers he talked about it on his channel. He was saying like when he went to Ulta, he bought all of them because he likes them so much and they're fixed dollars. So, so far I really like this beauty sponge. It's kind of, what's the word? Thicker, I guess, a little bit harder, not so squishy like a normal sponge, but I really like it. It's not like hard on your face, obviously. And it seems like it's not picking up as much product as other beauty sponges that I've used. For my next product, I got the Fenty Beauty um, Matchstick. So it looks like this, if you can see that. This one retails for $25 at Sephora. I got the color Amber, so I'm gonna just pop that on. So I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend this out. I like it. I'm not living for it. I think I like my Anastasia one better, but that's okay. I still really like this one a lot. I think it gets the job done. Especially, I feel like I could just wear it with no makeup and just contour my face really quick and it would blend out super easily. So, that's a plus. Um, Okay, next, I'm really excited about this one. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I've been wanting this for weeks. It's super, what I've heard is that it's super full coverage. Yowzas, it's super light. Okay, I got the color Snow. So, wow. Okay, that is really light. So this one retails for only $28 at Sephora. I feel like that's a great deal. $28 is not a lot at all. And it's um, 0.5 fluid ounces, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So that's really nice. And hello. This is a really good concealer. I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. So it looks like this. It looks just like the normal Laura Mercier setting powder. It's just a little bit smaller. And it was less expensive this one retails for 28 dollars. also at sephora 
um okay so i'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge it has this like flat edge if you can see that so that one i'm gonna press like right up against the contour on my nose and then i'm gonna go under the eyes as well Bloop. But I fear our time has come But we can ride out in the darkness Chasing the rising sun We gotta pack our bags this instant We're heading southbound to the next town And if we are While I'm letting that set, I'm gonna do my eyebrows So I got the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Frame and Set So it's kind of like a pomade, like Anastasia Dip Brow So I'm really excited and it comes with this little brush so i like it because it has a little spoolie on the end which is nice because you can kind of just brush through those brows before you use it so i'm going to use the flat side to dip into it every night like it could be the last the bounty said to shoot on sight so the chase in the summer no it came with the prize they wouldn't stop running till they found a paradise but the sheriff finally found him with the side seeing red so the lovers had to shoot him down and fill him full of lead they were finally free to find a place to lay their head and when they finally did he looked at her and he said i said i think okay i am seriously so impressed I think these eyebrows look really good. It was super creamy and easy to apply. Easy to just brush out. Like, I feel like it looks so good. Ooh, okay, I love this. This one retailed for $11 at Walmart. Um, I love it. I am seriously so impressed. I'm going to do my other brow camera and I'll be right back. I'm back. Look at these brows. I'm... I'm in love. I love these brows so much. These are like the best that I feel like my brows have looked in weeks. I like my brows a lot for the most part, but like hot diggity dog, these look good. Okay, so I'm gonna brush off the powder. See what we got going on down here. Okay, this concealer, I'm shook. Like shook to the core, WTF, question mark everywhere. What have I been doing? All my life without this concealer oh my gosh it looks so good I feel like the brightening powder like really I want to scream I want to just stop the video like that's it we found the best product in the world and we're done now oh my god I would recommend this concealer to anybody so once again born this way I was born this way like this to use this concealer okay moving on to bronzer so I got the Maybelline Master Bronze. It looks like this. So it's got the four different shades. And then obviously I'm assuming this one's more like a highlight. And this one looks like maybe a highlight. I'm not sure. I'm going to go in with this dark one. I'm going to just go for it. I'm going to go for the dark one. I just try to, if I'm going in with something dark, or that I think will be too dark, I just try to use a super light hand. That way I can build onto it instead of having to figure out what to do when I've used too much and it looks like dog poop. Super snatched. Um, I like this bronzer. I feel like it's good. Got the job done. Um, this one retailed for $13 at Ulta. I like it. I feel like I like my Physicians Formula Butter bronzer better. I don't know. I guess I like this one has options, but I feel like, I mean, that's what the highlight looks like. I don't know if you can see my finger. So I feel like besides this dark one, I won't be using it for anything else. I wish this just came in like a single, if this was a single pan and it was like five or six bucks, I would totally buy it. Or 10 even, I like this bronzer, but I just don't need all four of them. Blush, I picked up this super beautiful Revolution Makeup Blush Palette. This, this is so beautiful. I mean, hi. I love this, I think this is so pretty. I've been so excited to use this ever since I bought it. This one was only $10 at Ulta, and all their other, they have other um blush palettes that aren't so shimmery they're just like more matte colors but this one was so pretty i just had to buy it so i'm gonna go in with I, th I think i'm gonna go for this one up here let's just see if we can okay what do we think i like it it's not as pigmented 
as I would want. I feel like for how much I dipped that brush in, it should have really, there should have been a lot of blush on my skin. I mean, it looks good. I feel like it looks pretty and I like it and I like all the different colors. Okay, for highlight, I'm going to use Maybelline Master Chrome. Looks like this. I got the shade Molten Rose Gold. Wow, that's a mouthful. Um, one of my friends, Natalie, recommended this to me, so shout out to her. I'm super excited to use this. Um, I like it. I think... I think I got a real glow going on here. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. For eyeshadow, I got this CoverGirl Peach Punch Palette. If you can say that 100 times fast. The color I'm gonna go in with is this dark brown here. I'm gonna just, I'm nervous. So I'm gonna put this like right in the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with this peach shade. I mean, this was like my favorite color. When I bought the palette, I was like, okay, I'm living for that peach color. So I'm gonna put a lot on the brush and just kind of go in like all over the lid and then kind of just blend it out towards the outside. And then I'm gonna go in for underneath my, like my under my waterline, I'm gonna go in with this medium color here and just pop that right underneath. For the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with this gold shimmery color here. Okay work okay um i like this a lot i think that they blended out really easily i also something i like about this palette is like these colors all go together you can't you can't use these colors and mess up or make like an ugly eyelid i feel like these all go together and you can do like multiple looks with the colors which i like and then they're all just gonna come together and look really great. This one retailed for $10 at Walmart, which is an amazing deal. And they had other colors too. I just, I don't really use a lot of dark eyeshadows. I like peaches and oranges and pinks better just because I like lighter shades better. So I'm gonna do my other eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right, I'm done with my other eye. I think they look similar, I hope. That's the thing with eyeshadows, like some eyes I feel like will look so good and the other one's like, nah. Okay, so for eyeliner, I got the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner. It looks like this. So this one was $10 from Walmart. It is a felt tip, which I really like a lot. So let's see how this thing goes on. Takes just from kissing me when my Time comes around, lay me gently in the cold dark earth. I love this. I love this so much. That went on so easily. Oh my. Wow. Okay, I'm going to do my other eye off camera. I'll be right back. All right, so this is my finished look. I'm an idiot and forgot to buy a new mascara, so I just had to use one that I already had. And then I, of course, got mascara on my eyelids because I do that every single day so other than that I really like this look a lot I think I'm kind of snatched right now I kind of look I look pretty good I'm not gonna lie I mean look at these eyebrows look at this under eye like where are the dark circles they're gone thanks to that concealer that concealer is amazing definitely my favorite product of this so far I also really liked the foundation, which again is the Beauty Blender foundation. I will probably be buying that tomorrow. I feel like this that might be my new go-to foundation. I really liked the setting powder. I loved this beauty sponge. Oh my god, $6. Completely worth it. I would buy a hundred of these if I had the money, which I don't. Or if I bought a $6 one. Um, what else? Love the eyeliner, really liked the eyeshadow. I really liked everything. I think there's nothing that I didn't like. I guess my least favorite were probably these two, just because this one, it was, it's, I mean, it's beautiful, look at it, but it just doesn't pick up a lot of product on the brush. I feel like you have to go back in a couple times, which is fine, I guess. Um, also the bronzers, I just will literally never use these three colors. I'll only use this dark one, but that's okay, at least I have 
one shade that I like. So really nothing bad to say. Um, I hope that this video was helpful to anyone who's looking to buy new makeup or needs suggestions. If anyone wants to give other suggestions, I would love to do a hundred more videos like this. So let me know below what your favorite go-to products are. Leave me a comment. Hit me up on Instagram at Melted Honey Beauty. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be linking all the products down below, but seriously, please give me recommendations for makeup so I can just keep trying new stuff and letting you guys know how I think they work. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.